Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Reynolds and I run Organized Chaos. Organized Chaos helps our clients to declutter their home and work environments in smart ways. By combining our experience, a Lean 5S methodology and signature aesthetic, we remove clutter as a physical stressor. So as COVID-19 continues to spread, a lot of people are being sent home from work and will have to work from home over the coming weeks. Now, just because technology allows us to work from home doesn't mean that as humans, we may be any good at it and companies have have to recognize that the staff productivity, their behaviors, their time management will change working from home than in the office. Here are some factors to consider if you or your staff need to work from home over the next few weeks. Firstly, one of the biggest issues is around ergonomics. So we are now sitting at a kitchen table when we're working from home or worse, we are sitting on the couch. Worse again, we might be working from the bed and this is going to cause havoc with our backs. It'll also maybe start to introduce repetitive strain injury because we're now working on laptops as opposed to sitting properly at desks and computers, which aren't great in and of themselves for ergonomics, but it's better than uh, laptops and kitchen tables. So top tip is to make sure that your laptop is pushed right into the dining room table so that your elbow is rest resting on the table and your arm is outstretched. That's going to ha help any repetitive strain injury. Next factor to consider was camaraderie. So people can get very lonely if they're working from home. There's only a certain personality type that can make this work. And the longer the weeks go on where we have to work from home, the more that this is going to become an issue. People will get lonely, which will lower their productivity, uh, slow them down in terms of time management. So shock horror, why don't we start using the phone? Um, this is, we now rely so much on email, maybe some of our work could be done by picking up the phone and talking to people. A summary of the conversations can be then done in a report via email, but maybe to help keep that connection, pick up the phone. And finally, another factor was around office supplies. So very often people are used to using two or maybe three screens to do their work. And now they're at home and they've got one small laptop screen. This causes frustration and irritation and slows the worker down. As well as that, they might not have a very good printer. They might run out of ink. They might run out of paper. Maybe even they can't find a stapler or highlighters. It's quite usual not to be able to find those items at home in amongst the clutter. So companies need to bear this in mind that those sort of elements and supplies that helps people to do their job may not be readily available at home. So for, for staff, uh, a top tip would be to create an office caddy. So have a basket or a box and inside that is everything you use on a daily basis for your work. Have your files, have your documents, have your stationery, and everything goes into that box. This will also help at the end of the day. The end of the day routine is really important when you work from home to create that buffer between the end of work and the start of rest. And if you have this office caddy where you can put everything off the kitchen table into this caddy and clear it away, end the day, and it's there for you tomorrow, it's going to help your work and help, help your brain to reset as well. There are just some of the factors to consider when you work from home. We'll have more advice uh, coming your way later on in the week. We help our clients to get organized so they can succeed at home, work and life. For more information, log on to organizedchaos.ie.